Welcome back to Monroe Live, everybody. Today, we have an update on our progress, and progress is the big word we have. So we have Antonio here. We're gonna run through some of the new stuff we see. Um, first thing you notice is that we have a significant portion of the cells out. We finally honed our process on how to extract them without actually making a difference. And there's a piece of plastic here. And Antonio, you wanna run through what you see here? All right. So this black plastic, which we didn't really appreciate um, when we had a single row of cells removed, is a um, barely adhered, there's a little bit on the outside, but the in inner two have not had any adhesive yet. Um, it's basically just a holder for the mica. If you, if you look back at some of the older videos that Tesla's released about their cell assembly process, you'll realize that this was actually um, attached to the bottom of a bandolier of cells. Um, so what happens is there's a strong adhesive underneath the cells that adhere the cells to mica and then the underneath vent channel here is attached from the end of the cooling tube to the bus bar system. Yeah, now we can see the bus bar system. So if you look at the semi-assembled module, this, these thin layers of foil uh, are laser welded with these little squares to these pieces of metal. Now we can see what one of those bus bars looks like. Now this is bent, uh, but it's a thick piece of aluminum and it goes down and it collects to a bottom portion. Is that correct? And it's yes. coated in a uh, protective orange. What is yeah, that? Yeah, it's just showing? a high voltage warning plastic. It's uh... I forget what it's made out of, but we can check that later. Yeah. And the cooling channels, unfortunately, had to be destroyed in our removal process. I'm holding one in my hand right here. Uh, this pink foam is highly structural. Now, Antonio in a little bit is going to show you how structural that is. So as we extracted the cells, we chose to damage the cooling channel rather than damage the cells. And there's very small channels for the fluid to flow through. This is very similar to what we saw on the Model S Plaid, the Model 3, and the Model Y. The shape or the dimensions are different, slightly taller to match the side of the cells. Anything you want to add here, Antonio? Yeah, the channel itself is actually a little bit thicker to account for the size and weight of the cells. Um, so it's not visible because we've pretty much destroyed it on the removal, but it's a thicker and uh, the channels are wider. Um, the foam is indeed, um, I mentioned it out of a uh, jest that it was called, I called it the pink foam of death. Um, someone might've seen it in the bolt review where Jordan was there. He had a red mark on his hand. That was his encounter with the pink foam of death trying to remove a cell. Yeah. Um, yeah. And now on the other side, we, we can now see the BMS boards. So there's four of these BMS boards. You can see the back side of it here and it's protected in this plastic enclosure. This plastic enclosure is just, a, I think it looks like a basic polypropylene. It doesn't look like a nylon, but it, it doesn't allow the pink foam to get down in there. And Antonio, you wanna say, say a little bit more about what we see in the connections, where they go and whatnot? So we do see a little bit of a difference. This uh, BMB board, BM, BMS board, is blue, the other ones are, I believe, green. This might just be indicating one of them is the most positive, one of them is the most negative. I expect to see some similarity with the other two to one of the one or the other. Um, the housing itself acts as a holder for the cells and the bandoliers themselves, so it helps. I believe this whole thing is loaded in in a single package based on that. Yeah, and one thing that I wasn't expecting is I wasn't expecting the bottom of the cells to not be glued. I expected there to be more of a structural connection between the bottom of the cells. This just shows you how much structure is passed through the cover of this pack and the cells themselves and not necessarily the bottom of the pack because the bottom of the pack is the channel for venting, correct? Right. Yeah. So here is a, a group of cells we were able to extract. You can see the adhesive and the mica that are holding the whole thing together. And um, the urethane foam itself is adding a great deal of structure. Um, I can demonstrate this by holding what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that's 
times 355. It's a lot of weight. Um, it's not breaking. It is extremely rigid. Um, I'm able to put my weight on this and it won't actually break. Yeah, and you want, now you can see the separator film. You want to talk yes. about that? So there is a, uh, this has actually been a saver, savior for us on extracting cells because um, what it's looking like is this is a, applied between the cells and the foam is applied on one side of the foam and on the separator and it pushes it towards the cells, uh, providing a nice electrical isolator between rows. I believe it's either a polystyrene or something. It's pretty rigid. Yeah. And then now we can more clearly see this thick, it almost looks like a fiberglass separator between each of the four modules. Do we get a positive material identification on this, Antonio? Um, we're still thinking it might be phenolic or a poly, uh, high density polyethylene. Um, but we did think Tesla was trolling us at first when we saw the wood grain, because I was remembering the wood bracket that was holding on the condenser in a previous build. Yeah, yeah. This looks more thought out than a, than a, than a strap around a thermal system piece. Um, but these are the main things we found. We just wanted to give everybody an update on this 4680 pack. Uh, we are progressing. We, uh, I think by the end of maybe this week or next week, we should have the entire pack completely disassembled. Um, anything else to add, Antonio? Um, we also realized that in a true Elon uh, fashion, 35 and 34 adds up to 69. So 69 cells in a bandolier. Oh, 69 cells in a bandolier. That's really interesting. All right, well, so we wanna thank everybody for tuning in to Monroe Live. We appreciate everybody who has already subscribed. Um, we really hope to grow our subscriber base so we can bring more content to you. That's why we're able to take the time of Antonio's time, my time, Sandy's time to bring you these insights. Um, we invest a ton of effort, time, and money into this. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We really, really appreciate it and uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you. No Hulk smash here. Here. Mother. This might bend a little that way. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and my least favorite part about these videos is that I can't wear my watch. My beautiful <laughs> Apple watch. Thank you to Apple. Stupid. All right, I'm done with this.